Be Wealthy and Smart, episode 1097. into a world of wealth and financial freedom without budgets, boredom, or bosses on Be Wealthy and Smart. And now, here's your host, Linda P. Jones. Welcome to Be Wealthy and Smart. I'm Linda P. Jones, America's Wealth Mentor, empowering women and men worldwide to financial freedom. On today's show, we're going to talk about how the price of silver and the Dow rocketed higher today. I waited a little longer to put the podcast out because there was so much potential news that could have come out. I really wanted to wait and see what happened, but we didn't seem to have the big announcements that we potentially could have. So I'm just going to report on what happened today because these were significant things that happened. With silver jumping almost 9% during the day and the price being the most suppressed that we've seen in 30 years, this is a big move. And it tells us that there is some short covering going on because when you get those big percentage moves like that, that's usually the cause of it. There were some interesting tweets, one from Jeff Clark at the Gold Advisor who says, don't wanna get too far ahead of ourselves, but if silver's next spike is now underway, the average historical run is 150.4%. From the low $19, that would put the price back around its 2011 high, but that assumes we have a normal bull market, unlikely in this environment. Because I think what he's saying is we're likely to have a bigger bull market because prices have been so suppressed for so long. And Todd Anthony said silver is having its highest one day gain since November 2008, up 8.4% at the time of this posting. So could this be the beginning of a trend in silver? Well, we're definitely bound to see it soon, but there is so dang much suppression but we're also hearing that physical supplies of silver are really dwindling. And when we get to the point where silver can't be delivered, that's when the real fireworks are gonna start. Then we had the Dow up 900 points at one time during the day, and it closed up 765 points, a monster move up for the Dow 30 stocks. So what was the cause of that? Well, we had some statistics that came in today And that was the ISM manufacturing report, which showed that employment is contracting. The report for September was 50.9% down from 52.8% in August. So that showed us that manufacturing is the slowest it's been in two and a half years. There are nine manufacturing industries, including machinery, transportation equipment, and computer and electronic products that reported growth. But furniture and related products, as well as textile mill and wood products, were among the seven industries reporting a contraction. In response to that, the New York Fed President John Williams said inflation will likely come down to 3% by next year. This was kind of a bad news is good news rally. And it means that the fact that inflation is slowing and the economy is slowing and employment is not as strong gives us the possibility that the Fed could stop raising rates or even ease rates sooner. That's good news because the average 30 year mortgage climbed to 7.06% today. And the housing market is definitely feeling that. Although inventory is still dramatically low, We definitely are not seeing the hot real estate market that we used to see with multiple offers. That's just not really happening across most markets now. And houses are staying on the market longer or are even having to reduce some prices. Not unexpected since prices have really skyrocketed quite quickly in the last couple years. But again, I don't see it as a major crash at this point. Even though some people are calling this a crash, yes, prices are coming down but we just still don't have the inventory out there to have what I think would be a bigger crash. And now if the Fed does do their quote pivot and stops raising rates or even starts to ease, and there are many other reasons 
and rumors out there which could cause the Fed to start to actually ease or even possibly start QE like the Bank of England did last week. That would be catching a lot of people off guard and cause the market to move much higher, forcing the shorts to cover. Everyone is basically caught in a short squeeze and they're all focused the wrong way, which means the buying would be huge and the short squeeze would be massive. I've been saying a rip-roaring bull market is coming, led by short covering. And with silver and stocks acting the way they did today, I definitely feel that was the result of short covering. Will it continue? That's the million dollar question. I would think we'd see some kind of a sell-off and reversal, but we have some things out there that are huge news. Rumors of weakness of two European banks in particular. And if either of those banks have a Lehman type moment, in that case, we would likely see a sharp decline that would be sharp and fast, followed by a possible announcement by the Fed of quantitative easing, markets reversing and heading up so fast it would make your head spin. I think with this ISM manufacturing news, we're getting more confirmation that inflation has already peaked. And that's the news we were really looking for because once the Fed realizes that inflation is getting more under control and also employment isn't as strong as it has been, that's gonna give them room to take a pause or if we have a financial catastrophe to even ease or do QE. So. I think that's the more unexpected thing at this point, that the market will move higher. As I've said, over 60% of people are bearish, which is a very bullish indicator. We may have seen the beginning of this shift today, and I still think the surprise is on the upside. Even if we have a quick spike down, the market, again, I believe will turn quickly and head higher, propelled by massive short covering. If you haven't yet subscribed to Be Wealthy and Smart, hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified as soon as new podcasts are available. That's all for today. Until next time, live the good life and be wealthy and smart. Thank you for listening to Be Wealthy and Smart with Linda P. Jones. Share the wealth and tell your family and friends about the show. Check out our website, blog, and social media for more riches at www.bewealthyandsmart.com.